was starting to love God. One morning, let me tell you, Peter get up on Bristol Street in Springfield, Massachusetts. It's big up all of my friend them from Springfield. And when Peter get up, Peter, one man, he was scared and everybody come from downstairs and he said, what happened to you? And my father come out of the room and my mother come out of the room, Emo, and I don't know if them even remember, I don't know if Emo remember this. And he said, I see his majesty in a dream. For every Rastafarian, that is a dream come true. <laughs> so when Peter saw his majesty, he was in like a temper. He was like shaking. His eyes was red and his beard was white. He turned pretty. And he said, go and tell the world about me. That was Peter, the man. And from that day, we never stopped search until we reach a Jamaica. May I try going to the short version? And Peter said, Daddy, we have to get baptized. I said, Baptized? And with their bloom, I was St. Thomas. St. Thomas, big up on herself. And my father said, what do you mean? He said, we have to get baptized. I'm just showing you where Peter meant to the family. I'm a father. He was always searching. We always had to grow spiritually. I'll upgrade your spirituality. You upgrade your clothes, your makeup, everything, but we don't upgrade with spirituality. Knowledge is vast and wide. Never stop reaching out. I implore you. All of one clothing herself in the light of Christ. When Peter said, Daddy, we have to get baptized, we went and found the Ethiopian at Orthodox Tawahedo Church. And that's why we love His Majesty. That's why when we said, Ja! I don't have time for telling you the whole thing, but Rastafari was known as Rastafari Makonen, born in 1892, July 23rd. Give thanks for the teachings of the 12 tribe of Israel. And from that day, Peter kept on feeding us, feeding us, feeding us spiritually. I said, Peter, which book that? I'll never forget when Buju Bantam come in New York. And say, Buju, we find a book. Buju said, which book that? <laughs> if you don't know Buju. And him say, one book named the Kebran Agas. I saw we end up reading, do a song named, give it the Kebra, make we read it. And gain the knowledge of the truth. And feed who come to eat it. Peter fed the world through music, through him lyrics. So we end up with an album named More Teachings. And that album is like a book itself. But he kept growing. He wanted to show his diversity. And I said, but wait, we don't love women too. And Barry someone looked at me and said, what? Wow, I said, Mr. Linton come and say, I have a rhythm you now. And... and we we'll create a song say says, she's still loving me. And I'll never forget, the man in him come at my house. God, I mean, he didn't get in no trouble. If you know what I know, this song right about. And him said, Graham, so you have to do that. And him just come with the guitar, run at my house. I play some me and mommy and Luke and Mojo and I live together, four away. As big people, you can't imagine. And him just start playing guitar. a boy up on the side, on the beach. And we writing songs. It was a thing in St. Thomas that really grounded us. Because we came from Brooklyn. So when we went to Jamaica, people couldn't believe, say, why? 
America them bad because we the chat pat was so bad. <laughs> and me have some cousin by the way, where some of them never got Jamaica yet at the time. Where them chat, when them talk, you can't even understand them. <laughs> Auntie Gracie, my cousin them. Auntie Gracie, Auntie Lana, big up on herself. And I, and I, and I, and my cousin them ranking. When you hear ranking talk, no him bad, he's a bad rapper no one known as Opium Black. But our family roots is so deep, all the way from the roots of Clarendon. And I want to acknowledge my mother because she stand up with my father, you know? There's too many broken homes, people. My mother stood up with my father from my 16 in today's modern terms. So man, I wanted to call my father Gallis, but he wasn't that. But when we see a woman stand up with a man through all the trials and pain, It no normal. I always tell my friends, and I love pop culture. I wear designer too sometimes, but the message in the music needs to come back. Beyonce always have put out some songs. I'm, I can't wait to see her again. Maybe see her on the plane at the Special Olympics. But more want to see her because the songs is, is, is we push to break up relationships and break up families so much. I'm so happy that the man that I've become and grown, I'm not the man that, the man that I am today, I wasn't that man. It took time and maturity. Men, we take long to get it right. And I just remember listening to a song. In a minute. Well, I know. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. <laughs> My mother never do that. She grew up on songs like, stand by your man. <laughs> and that's not normal. So I implore woman, don't be so fast with breakup. My brother, seven children come up there. Flowers, a garden, all the colors are different. Isn't it beautiful? So I want to know that a nation is mourning, not only the Morgan family. Peter was dynamic. I remember when we were, I want to take this time to acknowledge the original members. And Sharon Burke, thank you for making us get on that stage at, in Reggae Sun Splashing Man. And my father take all our money and say, it was like a Joe Jackson story. <laughs> we annoyed our mother so much time. Me and Peter are singing at the back stairs on the third floor. And there were so many people that took chances on us. Eugene Gray, Thelonious Monk Jr., Bobby Digital, King Jammies. The names are too much to name. And... It's like when you think of Peter, you think of a priest and a prophet, that sometimes a priest and a prophet is never honored in his own house. And I want you to know and understand that Peter was one of those persons that brought clarity to Rastafari. Other times in the 60s and 70s, Amanda said, Rasta, just Rasta. You know? But Peter was like, wait a minute, where's the data? What does it really mean? Let me declare to you the divinity of his imperial majesty, Emperor Ailes Selassie. The Rastafarian movement is not a religion. It is a liberation movement that makes you think about uplifting yourself again, taking care of your body, taking care of your temple with a spiritual nucleus. That spiritual nucleus, let me say again, that spiritual nucleus is based in Ethiopia by the Christian faith. So that's why we sang songs like, you don't have to dread to be Rasta. Them days where I eat no patty and curry goat and all bully beef. 
bully beef and white it just needs when the rasta part came to us we realized it man there's some bad stuff in there <laughs> so no better tank rasta tank jamaica tank the culture So Peter was that guy that always dig, always a dig, spiritually, and he wanted the truth. You can't say Rasta, Rasta. That's why I may not smoke ganja till this day. Peter never smoked ganja. Don't even talk about alcohol. If you come close and I drink alcohol to him, say, what that? He was that guy. I wish we could all have a barbecue with him together so no could I really get to know him, you know? When I did the first one, I was afraid. I'm going to say, who ever sing the first verse? And I'm going to say, rise up, man. We are grams. We are deal with. We were hard on ourselves musically. I remember my brother, Junior, Clifford Branch, was so hard upon you in a rehearsal. People, we used to rehearse 16 hours a day in a hot sun in a Brooklyn. Rhea was there, Camille, Taliba, the Chippets, Salah, Miriam, out of that come LMS. We were so hard. Junior, I'll never forget when Cliff was. Not only the vibration, but the musicianship. God bless the school, Edna Manley of music. Because a lot of those kids studied Mark and Eric. Um, saxophone player, you heard him play earlier. On the piano, you saw music. And pastor, and him say he heard my father talking on an album named Live in Europe. Do it. He said, Follow those people. They know what they're talking about. Me don't talk. Because we clothed ourselves in Christ by the ways of his imperial majesty, Emperor Isilas the first. That is the true teachings of his majesty. I remember the memories of the work that we put in. My brother David Morgan, him love his majesty so much. The man moved to Ethiopia never to come back. And guess what? He now have on dreadlocks. He was the original bass player of Morgan Heritage. Our brother Jeffrey Morgan come from Olaba. 